I prefer my fruit on a plate and well-traveled. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And happy Memorial Day. Today we recognize those who have given their lives for our country. Now you may notice that we are surrounded by crates full of fruit. I have noticed. As far as I can remember, is not typical. That is not typical. You know, if I'm surrounded by too much crate, crated fruit. Crated fruit. I start to get a little uneasy. Oh yeah. I start to, my dart throwing starts to get a little wobbly. Yep. I don't know, today's gonna I'm be, a, it's gonna be risky, but it's here. Uh, because today's episode is a collaboration of sorts with FarmLink, not a sponsor. Uh, we're just big fans of their work and we wanted to give them a shout out. Um, can you give him the shout out so that he can give them the shout out? Oh, here's the shout out. Give him the shout out. FarmLink is a, it's got your name in it. Is that why you wanted to do this? That's not the main reason. You'll 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 discover the main reason, but it is a, Substantive secondary I, I reason. Mean, I thought that like farm link is like a personality that you go into sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've hooked up my farm implements and I'm ready to do some um, tilling. That guy, that guy. But also, farm link is a group of over 500 students doing amazing work to end food waste, combat hunger, and prevent thousands of tons of harmful emissions from entering the atmosphere all at the same time. Yeah, and just to make this a truly collaborative episode. Every dish that we're gonna try today will feature food from our friends at FarmLink who sourced it from local wholesalers here in Los Angeles where it otherwise would have gone to waste. How awesome is that? Uh, 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 excuse me, uh, I am receiving word uh, that fruit is not exclusive to America. In fact, fruit can be found all over the world and is often used for wild, unique, and exciting dishes, the likes of which we've never seen. Um, and I've just received word that oh. the Mythical Kitchen has cooked up some of those dishes for us to try, like, right now. Oh, and I have just received word that it's time for Where, Where in, in the, the world, world do these international fruit, fruit dishes come from? All right, boys, you know how this goes. You're gonna be trying fruit-forward dishes from around the world and then throwing a dart at the country you think they came from. Chase, the sugar plum fairy cartographer, has graced us with his presence to measure how far you are from the correct answer. Whoever has the lowest score at the end gets to show off all the fruit knowledge they've been hiding via a very special prize. And since Link's valiant three-game winning streak came to an end just last time, he'll have the advantage of the cherry pick in any round of his choosing. Okay. Oh, and you get the advantage rolls back to you. Will oh, also, gladly pick a cherry. Will it also be a useless uh, hint, or will it? Will you get a real advantage? <sighs> oh, I'm just receiving I... word. <laughs> it will probably be actually helpful. Mm. I hope so. That's disappointing. What's this? Some sort of a melon or a gourd? Look at that! Like, oh, move your hands. It's hot. It's it's full of rice, and it's full of. <sighs> There's some beans in that. Look, puppy. it's a cornucopia. I have a plate here. I'm gonna rake some of this into it, but I think I do want to taste. You gotta get some of the uh, some of the melon to know what kind of. Is it a melon? I, well, if it's not, then I don't know what a melon is. It's a melon. I don't want to give away too much, but it is a farm link melon. Oh. Yep. Yep. I feel that. I feel like farm link would have known it was a farm link melon. Now. There's a little bit of peanut, a lot of rice. I'll be honest with you. And it, some sort of meat. It's the part that's not melon that I'm kind of into. <laughs> yeah. The melon part is sort of ruining the vibe for me. It is, a just... it is a little strange and refreshing to have nuts, melons in that. Nuts. Melon pieces. Some kind of like parsley or dill. There's not onions. any. There's not any spice. There's not. I'm not gonna call it bland because I like bland. All right. Whatever the good word for bland is, is what that is. I've never had this in a melon before, but I've had like meat inside this long grain rice with nuts, and I've always associated it with turkey. The Middle East. Is that what you're thinking? Which the closest country to that area on this map is Turkey. Don't overthink it, Rhett. Don't overthink it. He's getting close to Turkey. And um, I was hoping that's what he would say because I'm thinking this is a little more Moroccan. 
I'm gonna rock your socks off with a melon stuffed with stuff. It's I've heard nice. that. I've heard that on the radio, on Moroccan radio. Oh, yeah. I always catch him listening to Moroccan radio. <laughs> oh. oh, and I inadvertently got just as close to Turkey as you did. Okay. Intentional, you decide. You just had Kavan Dolmasi, a stuffed melon. Um, it's a culinary remnant of the Ottoman Empire consisting of a meat and rice filled melon. Families have been enjoying its unique flavor and mouth watering aroma for centuries in Turkey. Turkey, that Ottoman Empire. I think this is. Um, this would be. Very, you might have actually neck gotten closer. And neck first round. Any wagers on how many cents you are? That's my short for cents. I will bet you a grain of rice. <laughs> All right, Rhett, you had six, and Link, you had seven. Ooh! Rhett takes the small sliver of an early lead. Just one cent. What a cute casserole dish. It uh, is. Look at that size. It's it, like a little bit smaller than normal. So there's peanuts and bacon. That's more than bits. Oh boy, and that looks like nanners. Bacon chunks. And bananas, it's almost like flop. Thank you. How, is that too much? No, that's good, that's perfect. Eat it all now. It's, is this like flambéed? What is this on? Mmm. Ha ha ha! Nana. That's tasty. Sweetness, bacon. Man, that's good. This is. I found a chicken, not a banana. This is a wild dish, y'all. It's so good. Banana chicken? I'm I'm just a fan of any dish that has crunchy nuts and bacon. Hmm. I'm gonna take that little cute dish home with me. The synergy between strange to me yet good to me has never been higher. I know it's that they will put bananas into savory dishes in South America. So Paraguay or Paraguay, you know, choose your own adventure, really. Um, I do think it's Guay, though. I, that's my first guess, but the peanuts are throwing me off and maybe thinking I might all the, be all the way in Indonesia because... What about Falkland Islands? You ever uh, heard of that? <laughs> yeah, I have. I doubt that's it. So it's like I'm kind of torn between Indonesia and Paraguay. But I'll just go with my instinct. The bacon? This could be a real big swing here, Link. Either way, depending on what happens. Oh, Falkland! Falkland Island. Falkland! If it is Falkland, <laughs> man, that would be crazy. I think he said Indonesia in order to lure me there. I'm not buying it. Nothing about this says Indonesia to me. That like Peanuts. Bananas. But the bananas of Tanzania, like ten, Bananzania. That's true. You know, it's like the word banana just wants to fit inside of Tanzania. Yeah. So, but you are right about, I mean, it could be Guatemala. It's so good. I mean, I just can't get over it. Can you tell? You got a pig. I've eaten a, at least a banana and a half. Now that I've said Tanzania, and I'm, if I change it to Guatemala, which I'm thinking about doing, <laughs> I'm, shoot, am I doing that thing? What thing? You know, the thing where I have I'm I'm on, I have the right answer and then I change it. So yeah, and the funny thing it. is Back. everybody watching can see the answer like right here. And so and, and some people are like, I wish I could see it. Guatemala. And some, people, and some people have got a thing that they've put here to block the answer. It says Guatemala. We can't see that. <laughs> it it might, might be I probably the, uh, created like graphical problems every time I do that. Here we go. Somebody had to like do key key things. <laughs> like whatever you call it. Right. They had to key it out. My answer is Guatemala. Is Guatemala, but I'm gonna go towards Tanzania a little bit. Okay. There we go. You just had a casserole made with chicken, chili sauce, curry powder, chili cream, sauce. peanuts, bacon, cream. and bananas. It's known as the Flying Jacob and was named after the air freight employee who invented it in Sweden. What? <laughs> an air an air employee? They've air been, freight, yeah. Air freight employee in Sweden? I mean, 
I would have guessed every other country, including the Falkland Islands, before Sweden. <laughs> Seems like you're both plumb out of luck there. But Rhett, you had 50, and Link, 30. Yeah, dude, that was a big swing. Thank you. Mm. Before we see our next international fruit dish, we want to take a quick second to highlight some of the awesome work our friends at the Farm Link Project are doing. Yeah, since April of 2020, a group of over 500 college students, AKA the Farm Link Project, have dedicated themselves to doing something about the fact that there are over 35 million people in this country who face food insecurity. And it would take 7.4 billion pounds of food to ensure everybody has access to the food that they need. Now that may sound like a lot, but did you know that over 100 billion pounds of food go to waste in this country every year? Yeah, we hear a lot about food going to waste at grocery stores or in our homes, but tens of billions of pounds of perfectly good food never even make it to that point for a whole list of reasons. Mm -hmm. And the Farm Link Project has worked with hundreds of farmers to get their abundance of nutritious food to communities all across the country, over 100 million pounds since the start of the pandemic, mm -hmm. and they are just getting started. Uh, so that's why we wanted to partner with them on this episode to help highlight what they're doing to end food waste, combat hunger, and keep thousands of tons of harmful emissions from entering the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And 100% of the food you see behind us is gonna be donated to a local food pantry later today. If you wanna help FarmLink and their mission to end hunger in the United States, go to farmlinkproject.org to find out more. When you said, do you wanna help? Like something, help. something came up. It's yeah. like, you really felt it's it. It's guttural. Came from your gut. If you wanna help. Let's see our next fruit. Bring it in, bring it in. Is this just a bowl of fruits? It is a fruit salad, some people might call. And that. there's there's some red specks in it, so I'm gonna eat this pineapple. Is it hot? <laughs> Um, I see pineapple. There's something I see over it. Papaya? I see. What's this green thing? Apple. I Cuc see. Cucumber. Cucumber. I taste chili. Mango. All right, so now um, I'm in the lead, You're so lead. I'm gonna go first. You still have an advantage, by the way. Hmm. You know what? I am not gonna use it going first. If I end up having to go second, that's an easier choice to use the advantage then. Hmm. It could be it could be anywhere. I mean a little bit of chili flake. Again, I'm thinking Guatemala again. I really am. It could be Morocco, but I don't know, it's just a chili flake. It's just a chili flake. Come on, don't get any ideas. Alright. So I'm gonna do the the same thing I did last time. Oop, but I went too low. How you feeling? I was really hoping that you might not do what you just did. Mm-hmm. I mean, how could this not be Guatemala? I mean, I guess it could be Paraguay. It's just a bowl of fruit. It could it's, be anywhere. Yeah, it's, but it's certainly tropical. These fruits would definitely be in South America. They'd also be in Central America. I gotta make up a little ground here. I gotta do. I gotta do better throws. You gotta get though. real close to it. Man. I gotta do better throws. And you're closing an eye. Yeah, I'm aiming. No, that was close. Okay, all right. Please say Paraguay. You just had fruit rujak, a very popular fruit and vegetable salad that I'll let our resident expert tell you more about. Oh, shoot. <laughs> rujak is Dang one it. of the oldest dish in the culinary tradition of the Javanese people. Okay, the largest ethnic group in Indonesia. Indonesia. Shoot. Indonesia. That's a good, uh, yeah, it makes sense. It's also close to the equator. Mm -hmm. Link head 60, Rhett 65. Oh, just a yeah, bigger that hole, just me. a bigger hole. We interrupt this episode of Good Mythical Morning to let you know that there's a new video over on the Rhett and Link channel. We finally made up for the recess that we were forced to miss back in 1984. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Check out this new shirt design that we released at mythical.com. I've been noticing it. Good Mythical Morning is available in black and also sand color. 
It features moth illustrations with hidden GMM flame logos. Oh. Can you spot them? Find them and you get it free. Actually, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> get it and then find them. Very cool shirt, <laughs> mythical.com. Are you in the mood for some? Some chocolate, that is a. What is that? It's, well, it's, it's gotta be a fruit. I'm gonna dip it in chocolate in a second. Oh. So it's a, it's a plantain type thing, but it's stuffed with a brownness. It's very tasty, it's very different. Refried bean stuffed plantain dipped in chocolate. You're up, Link. Hmm. You're up. I can't help but notice that you don't wanna say anything. Yeah. Why not, right? Because I'm trying to come back from my, my hole. He's trying to come out of his hole. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna, I keep showing love to Guatemala until it becomes the answer. I gotta go back to Guatemala. And this time, I'm not, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so confident about it. I'm just gonna aim for it. It's gotta be Guatemala. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that is close! I'm feeling it today. Uh, Guatemala, excellent guess. Uh, Thank you. I am. But you disagree? Well, I think I have to out of game theory at this point, given the fact that I'm down by 24. I think I've got to go to Paraguay, which I actually think would be my answer because these are, I don't know, I'm just feeling a little bit more Paraguay because it feels a little more South American, but it's, I'm just going on instinct. I think it could be Guatemala. So I really need to get where you usually are when you throw first, and then I really gotta concentrate. Oh. Ah, shoot. Ooh, Horrible. He's frustrated. Horrible. He's, he's feeling I'm not lost e I'm in not his I'm not even future. closer to, to the answer than you. You just had rellenitos de platano, AKA little stuffed plantain things. They're deep fried dough balls stuffed with a mixture of beans, chocolate, cinnamon, and plantains that can be served any time of day, any time of the year, but they're particularly popular around Christmas in Guatemala. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Rhett, you had 13. So don't have too much melon, Kali. <laughs> <laughs> as a, a fruit, fruit pun, it's yeah. Fruit, fruit, There's just fruit. better ones than the plum, plum fairy one, yeah. And Link, you had one. Mm. One! Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Boy, I'm in such a big fruity hole. What is this? Is this a piece of, it's a piece of toast? Two bread? Big slabs of bacon. bacon and apples. <sighs> Apple bacon is a thing. And one green onion sliver. Mm-hmm. Mm. We got two bacon dishes, even though it's a fruit episode. That's a good day, even if we are losing. That's pretty, that, that's a, mm, that's salty, that's sweet, nicely balanced. You have your, you still have your advantage, Link. Um, let's see, I'm 36 centimeters in the lead. It would be a tough, it would be tough, tough to lose at this point. I can't give up my advantage or try to negotiate to defer it. I, I, I'm gonna use it. Bring in my, my cherry pick. Oh, wow, look at that. So, so what, do I, what, I, what do I do, just pick one? Yes, you can only pick one, and one has something helpful on it, and the rest don't, huh? <laughs> they smell different? <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a wooden cherry. Only if you can get the hint off can you take the hint. Take a hint, Link. Oh, okay, well now. Oh. Ew. <laughs> I don't know if I can read it anymore. I don't, oh. I don't want you to read it. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's so wet, I can't. <laughs> Cherry, bad, Ace, cherry bad choice. Berry, ber cherry bad choice, that it means did, you chose the wrong It did not help me at all. All that for no hint. Okay. Bacon, apples, toast. Bacon, apples, toast. Bacon, apples, toast. Hmm. 
I just have to go for the middle of the board. Um, it's hard to even come up with a, a guess here. Um, it just says that it doesn't taste in what I would call exotic. Mm. So, I don't know. Gotta go for the middle of the board. Whoa. <clears throat> well. I just kind of let my arm do the answering. I mean, this has got to be a European country, right? But if it's a European country, you're all, I mean, there's no way. You're close enough. I went south. That helps you, but. Nah, it doesn't help enough. enough. 30, 36. So I have to take a chance here, Link. And I have to hope. That this is Japan? That this is a place that got some sort of bland kind of thing, but isn't close Blank. to Europe. I've got to go Australia and just hope that for some reason, the Australian people have adopted that, this. I mean, there's nothing Australian about it. I'm just saying it's a it's a bland a guess, it's a bland dude. thing. There's a bunch of white people down there in Australia that like bland things. Uh, oh gosh! <laughs> My throwing is so off today. Dang! Weak sauce. You just had a blifflisk. It's a regional dish with numerous variations, but at its most traditional, it's simply fried pork and apples on rye bread, and it's often enjoyed with beer or snops in Denmark. No. Denmark. I'll accept it. <laughs> Rhett, you had 50. That's a lot. Link, 21. Mm. I love fruits <laughs> so much more than I did at the beginning of this episode. I think that I've won, you know? You've won the fruitiest episode of International Darts that we've ever had. Which means Congratulations. Do I get to be a fruity brain? Is that what's happening? Yeah. I thought it said fruity Brian. Me then, too. <laughs> and then you realize it said fruity Brian. Once again, Thank you to our friends at the FarmLink Project for working with us on today's episode. Go to farmlinkproject.org to find out all kinds of ways to get involved and make a huge impact on communities. Every dollar you donate to FarmLink will provide 18 meals to families most in need. Nice, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jenna and this is Amelia. We're living our best fruit pouch life. We're gonna dink it and sink it. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I think that was Dink It. Yeah, it was I'm the best sure Dink It, was it I've it. ever heard. <laughs> Click this hot link to watch us find out which brand makes the best fruit snacks by flavor in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Like a moth to a GMM flame, shop the Good Mythical Morning Teas available at mythical.com.